Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright, guys, we are here with episode 8 of the Memphis Tigers Dynasty. And they've got a week 9 matchup on the road against the University of Alabama Birmingham Blazers. As you can see, you take a look at your season defensive yardage. And Memphis defense is a big reason why the Tigers are 5-1 and one and looking for full eligibility with the win here today. Hello everyone, welcome to UAB Stadium in Birmingham, Alabama. We've got a matchup for you today between the 5-1 and one Memphis Tigers and the one and five, I think, UAB Blazers. Maybe they're one and four. Memphis elects to win the toss, and they will defer. So this UAB offense will get the ball first to see what they can do against this pretty tough Memphis defense. Right now, I believe the Tigers are second in the NCAA in yards allowed. They're like 18th in points and stuff, so. Definitely a big part of why Memphis is where they're at, which is 5-1, and one, looking for bowl eligibility with the win against a bad UAB team. All right, first down from the 25 for UAB as we begin this game. Brown wants to pass, so it's underneath. It's caught by Black. Kennard Backman, sorry, not Blackman. And so one play and a first down for this UAB offense. And in case you did not see the by season update, there are now two more commitments in this first class for Coach Jakob Kolenkov. Brown wants to pass. He's going to be sacked. Loss of four for Austin Brown, and Corey Jones was the first Tiger to get to him. And actually, if you didn't see the um, video with the box score of the Week 7 game, there is now four total commitments. Oh, dang, there's a flag and a first down, so... So much for that. Tank Jake's the guilty party there, roughing the passer, puts UAB at the Memphis 39. Basically, like half of the yards every team gets against Memphis is penalty yardage. It's pretty pathetic. But yeah, Yakov's now got Jermaine Petty, a free safety. As on first down, Brown wants to run the read option, and Memphis is not fooled. Winton McMahon is going to. Help Chauncey Lanier take him down behind the line. It's a loss of three. And then the, the week of the San Jose State game, like in between that and the bye week, a tight end and a center both committed. So this class is really starting to take shape. Backman with five yards there on second and 13. It'll be third down and eight from the Memphis 37. Just under four and a half to go here, first quarter. They give to Reeves. And it's a fumble picked up by Tank Jakes. I didn't, I didn't see who the one to knock the ball loose was. I think maybe Chauncey Harris. Or not Chauncey Harris. Charles Harris, sorry. But Jenks was a man to recover the fumble. Although they are going to review it. Even if they don't get it, it'll be fourth and long. And I don't know. That's that's pretty close. He might... Uh, uh, yeah, look, oh, I don't know. That's, that's close. We'll see what they decide to do. The play will be reversed. They do... It was close. I wasn't sure, but... Either way, it's 4th and 9, so the Memphis defense is going to get a stop either way. Not a big deal. 
and UAB is not going to go for it from the 39 of Memphis. They're they're going to punt it, and that's that's a total of 19 yards of field position gained, as it's a touchback out to the 20. So we've got a first and 10 from the 20 yard line for this Memphis offense. And out comes freshman quarterback Jacob Karam, who's got seven touchdowns and 19 interceptions. So not a very good year for him. Hopefully he gets better as the years move on. But on first down, he throws it incomplete. Second down, throws underneath, intended for Tyreek Patrick. It's knocked away by Derek Scott. And so now it's third and ten. All right, third down, Karim going to be sacked through the throw button, but no, 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 that does it. We don't understand. And so, Memphis, Coach Yakov's not stupid. He knows he's got to punt this ball away. Hornsey hoping to flip field position. It's a pretty good punt, but the return, a broken tackle or two, and he's still going. McManus will finally take Devontae Scott down after his 30-yard return. And so great field position for UAB at the Memphis 31. First down, Brown will hand off to Reeves on first down. Darren Reeves gets nine. It'll be second and one. Almost in the red zone on this second drive of the game. Thanks to a good punt return, really. They'll give to Reeves on second and one. But Kari Hoyer having none of it. Reeves brought down in the backfield by the junior corner. And it'll be third down and two. Reeves, three carries, seven yards. UAB facing a third and short. Brown will give to Reeves. Reeves trying to get the edge. He's brought down by Charles Harris, but he's got the first down. Four-yard gain on third and two, and now it's first down from the 19. UAB is in the red zone. Looking to score an upset here today. A touchdown on this drive would probably be very beneficial. Looks like maybe the center jumped first. But it's going to be a false start, and so that will back up UAB. They do have three prospects visiting this week, including Sam Bell, a defensive end, who Coach Yakov has been trying to get. I think they gave up on him this week, though. Really? That wasn't a face mask? That's dumb. Now, call McManus on a ghost face mask, really. That, that was a clean tackle, if you ask me. But the officials disagree, so it'll be first down from the 12 of Memphis. This defense really needs to buckle down and quit committing penalties when they get plays blown up in the backfield. A give to Franklin... And Franklin brought down by Lonnie Ballantyne after a five-yard rush. Second and five, UAB can still get a first down without getting a touchdown. Five yards away from the first, six away from the end zone. We'll see if UAB can punch it in. Brown wants to pass. Has Backman. There's a flag down. Go figure. They've got Corey Jones for roughing the passer. So it doesn't matter whether the pass was caught for a first down or not. The penalty will give them first and goal from the one. 
Can this Memphis defense come up with an amazing goal line stand? Under a minute and a half to go first quarter. UAB looking to take the lead. And as he throws, caught by Backman. There's a defender there, but obviously not there enough. And UAB strikes first. So the punt return does give UAB a touchdown. Although they needed some friendly penalties to help them get there. We've got a studio update. South Florida leads Southern Miss 3-0. to zero. And now we'll see if this Memphis offense can do better than their three and out. Craig will set to return this kick. He goes right out the middle for a return of 22. Team defense, they've allowed negative seven yards on one sack, basically. So a very bad three and out on the first drive for Memphis. And this offense has been a, an extreme weakness all year long. They give to Hayes on first down, and we'll see if maybe Hayes can have a good day running against a pretty poor defense. He's got nine yards on his first carry of the game right there. Malone drone in motion on second and one. Karam loses a yard on the option. Probably should have pitched it to Malone, but... As it is, the Marcus Farmer with a tackle for loss right there. And it's third and short. They'll give to Hayes. Hayes is right up the middle. He's got a first down and another nine-yard rush. First and nine from the or first and ten from the thirty-nine, sorry. Twenty seconds to go first quarter. It's a seven oh UAB lead. They got Hayes out of the backfield, and Hayes has a first down. 11-yard reception for the sophomore tailback. And now they've got it on midfield. So this Memphis offense is finding a rhythm here on their second drive of the game. This should be the final play of the first quarter. They've got a man open on the slant. It's Joe Craig, and he's got 13 in another first. And that does bring us to the end of the third, or first quarter, sorry. We played one here in Birmingham. Memphis trails UAB 7-0 in this rivalry game. Really, it's a rivalry? But the Tigers are on the move. They got a first down at the 37 of UAB as we begin the second quarter. First down they'll give to Hayes, and Hayes is brought down. They're not going to call a face mask there. Sure, you won't call a face mask face mask on that, but you will call a face mask on a clean tackle, whatever. Second down and 12 now. As a man open over the middle, it's Tevin Jones. He dropped it, though. No matter, someone got to Karen late. It's on Patrick Batistin. Uh, base sign? Base sign? I don't know. It'll be first down from the UAB 24, but really, Tevin Jones should have caught that. It was an absolute strike from Karam. One of his few good passes so far on the year. He's had a lot of really crummy ones, as evidenced by his 19 interceptions, and I'm sorry, that's got to be leading the NCAA. On first down, they'll give to Hayes. Hayes gets six yards. It'll set up a manageable second and four. Get off him, UAB defender. Second and four from the 18 of the Blazers. Memphis is in the red zone. They'll give to Hayes. Hayes up the middle. He's got a six-yard run and another first down. Five carries, 28 yards for Brandon Hayes. They're at the 12 of the Blazers. A minute gone, second quarter, Memphis knocking on the door trying to tie this game up. A give to Hayes. Hayes doesn't really get a block, but he's still got solid yardage. And they won a face mask call. It's going to go on Patrick Bastien again. So a couple goofs right there. 
I personally I couldn't tell if we brought him down by the face mask or not, but we'll just consider that makeup for the missed face mask earlier. First and goal from the four of UAB trying to knock it in. Hayes falls forward. They're not going to give him the touchdown. They'll give him to about the half yard line, but they're going to say he was down short. Second and goal from the one. Actually, not even the one. From the half-yard line. Can Memphis punch it in? They give to Cam, and the QB sneak will tie this game up pending the extra point. So Memphis ties it up here early in the second quarter. That drive took just over three minutes, and it will end in a, an extra point in a tie game. I'll tell you what, though. That Memphis offense really found its rhythm. If they can keep that up for the rest of the season, they might be able to turn a couple of heads in some tough upcoming games. I think they go on the road at Cincinnati and South Florida in back-to-back -back weeks for these next two weeks. So, oh, if Memphis should fall today, it, that six win might be a little while coming. Of course, if it's just the same, I'm sure Yakov would love to just get it out of the way here. Harris will take Austin Brown down as he tried to scramble. Charles Harris stayed in, like, the QB spy, kind of. And it's only a one-yard scramble for the quarterback. Second down and nine. They'll flip to Reeves, and Reeves has the edge. He's got 16 yards and a first down. Darren Reeves, five carries, 27 yards. And this Memphis defense has looked a little iffy here as of late. Granted, they only had 30 yards to score a touchdown thanks to poor punt return coverage. And they... They stopped them in Memphis territory last time, but this defense hasn't looked all that impressive. As right there, Brown will scramble for another first down. And look at that. Three plays, and they're in Memphis territory. They got it at the 41. So for as good as Memphis has played on defense, I'm a little surprised they're having trouble with this offense. Like Cincinnati or S Central Florida or someone like that, I'd understand. But UAP is not that good. Why are you having so much trouble tackling and stopping them? As surprise, surprise, they get 10 yards and another first down right there. They've got it at the 30 now, Memphis. Someone freaking tackle. Ballantyne just completely whiffed. Had him mad a little bit past the line of scrimmage. And Reeves is just like, you don't even know how to tackle. And now it's an 18-yard run down to the 12. Memphis, his defense is just being annihilated up front, really. And that's why there's so much running lane here. Brown wants to pass. Throws into the end zone. Bobby McCain with the interception. So they give up a bunch of yardage, but Bobby McCain will pick off Austin Brown, and that'll end the scoring threat. 2.47 to go, first half. Memphis has it at their own 10. They'll throw underneath to Tyreek Patrick on first down. Patrick got absolutely popped by the defender. But he still got eight yards and he'll set up a second and two. Karim's three for six for 32 yards so far. No interceptions, which is good. He's had about enough interceptions to last a couple years. Hayes tries to regain his footing. Can't quite. It's still seven yards in the first down for the halfback, though. First and ten. They got it at the 26. Coming up on two minutes to go now, first half. Wants to take a shot. K1 Malone had it knocked out of his hands. 
Three for seven for 32 yards now. And really, that one should have been caught. Instead, it's another drop in this receiving core. As good as they've looked at times this year, they've struggled with drops, too. A's just lost three yards. It'll be third and 13. Derek Scott came up to make the play, and UAB will call a timeout. They want to try to save some time for their offense, thinking Memphis is going to get nothing right here. Third down and 13. Waiting. They want the screen to Hayes. And Hayes is going to get the first down and then some. Across midfield, finally knocked out of bounds after a 33-yard reception. Coach Yaka figured they would bring the heat, and they did. They So the, the screen pass, and really all the quarterback had to do was just get it to Hayes, and Hayes did the rest. Big gain to UAB territory. Now they want to go to K1 Malone on first down. He makes the catch, but he got nothing. Second and ten from the 44 of UAB. Cam's five for nine for 63 yards. Under a minute and a half to go now, first half. Throws it up. They've got Malone, not time, and Malone's got 22 yards. First down, Memphis. They've got it at the 22. So definitely within field goal range of freshman Jake Elliott. Although I think at this point you probably want a touchdown. They throw to Tevin Jones, and Tevin Jones will get another first down. Ten yards and a first. And you, or Memphis, sorry, is going to go hurry up here. As they look to try and punch it in and take the lead here before half. As a man open on the edge, it's Hayes, and Brandon Hayes is in. He went in untouched. Everyone for, everyone on the defense just forgot to cover the halfback, and that's where Karen goes. It's a 12-yard touchdown strike. And 105 to go first half. Memphis has a 14-7 lead. Although they did leave quite a bit of time for UAB to do something. As 33 seconds to go first half, South Florida is now up 13-0. Orangey's kick is going to go out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So 105 left first half. They've got it at the 25. They do still have two timeouts, does UAB. We'll see if they can't maybe get in scoring position here. Or if they're content to just run it out and go to halftime. Brown wants to pass. Has a man open. It's Davis. Jay Davis with nine yards. It'll be second and one. UAB did burn a timeout there. So they've only got one left and a minute on the nose. Brown wants to pass. Throwing it up there. Knocked away by Lonnie Ballantyne. It'll be third and one from the 34. Austin Brown, 6 for 8, 45 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. UAB's one for one on third downs. Here's a third and short. They give to Reeves, and Anthony Watson had him met, but Reeves will fall forward and get the first. Really, that was a nice play by Anthony Watson. Just Reeves was able to fall forward. And they'll give Davis another first down as Grant Davis with a 10-yard reception right there. So they're almost to midfield. Still got about 40 seconds and a timeout. Brown is going to be sacked right there. And they're still going hurry-up offense right here. Corey Jones with his second sack of the game. Second and 15. We're now under 30 seconds left first half. They'll throw it up. Nearly picked off by Lonnie Ballantyne. Wouldn't have mattered, though. Someone got to the quarterback late. Go figure. They called Terry Redden for roughing the passer. So instead of third and 15, it's first down.
And they've got it out of the Memphis 43. 25 seconds left, first half. Memphis up by 7, but UAB trying to even it up just before half. 43 yards, and they do still have a timeout. That ball was just kind of thrown away, I think. Second and 10 from the 43 of Memphis. 21 seconds left, first half. Brown wants to pass. Goes underneath, throws it out of bounds, actually. And all of a sudden, it is third and ten. UAB two for two on third downs, but this is the first one that hasn't been third and less than three. I think they've had a third and two and a third and one they've converted. How did Scott catch that? Devontae Scott with 21 yards in the first. That was like triple coverage, and somehow he caught it. Redden hit as he throws, or Brown hit as he throws, sorry. The clock does not run out, so UAB is going to be able to escape with the chip shot field goal. Here, his kick is up, and it's good. Still a second left in this first half. But it's 14-10. to 10, And they're going to have to return it out. They can't call a fair catch. Here we go. Joe Craig broke one tackle, but he's not going to break another. We've reached halftime, and UAB's hanging tough with Memphis. The Tigers have a 14-10 lead at half here. And what I guess is a rivalry game that I wasn't aware of. Memphis does get the ball to start this third quarter. They're already up four. A touchdown would be a two-score lead. Carl Harris has the edge. Carl Harris out across the 40 on the return. It is a return of 42 yards to the 43. And great starting field pos position for this Memphis offense. After a rough first drive, they've really found their rhythm. And Hayes is bouncing off tackles and getting 10 yards. So one play, they're at the 47 of UAB. Second down in inches. They run the read option, and Karam has all kinds of daylight. Nine yards in the first down there for Karam off the read option. He's got four rushes for a yard and one touchdown. And they've got it at the UAB 38 now. They give to Hayes, and Hayes dragging defenders with him for a one-yard gain. He really probably should have been brought down behind the line of scrimmage, but he's like, nah, I think I'm going to get a yard anyway. Second and nine here for Memphis. They got it at the 37 of UAB. They'll give to Hayes, and this time he is brought down behind the line. One yard loss. DeQuindre Adams was there to make the stop the first time he's made anything happen on defense. Third and ten, and they aren't in field goal range. So this would probably be good position for four down territory I think they'll go to Hayes again on the read off or on the screen sorry he only got two yards hoping to probably get about five and make it a manageable field goal try instead they're not anywhere close to field goal range really and so coach Yakov Kolenkov says go for it as a man open toward the end zone it got under thrown the wideout did beat his man, but Karen just didn't quite get it to him. Although they're going to call roughing the passer on Daheem Watkins. So instead of a turnover on downs, it's a first down from the 21 of UAB. And now I would think Memphis is in field goal range, so they wouldn't have to go for it necessarily. 
it is he throws on the screen and that ball just got like rejected like it was in basketball or something. Oh boy, that guy came free off the edge. They did have a screen set up, but just nothing doing there, I guess. There's Joe Craig on the slant. 12 yards and a first down for Joe Craig. He's got two catches for 25 yards. First and goal from the nine. And Cam's 10 for 16 for over 100 yards. One touchdown, best of all, no interceptions. They wanted Patrick on first down. Nice play there by Bastine. I don't even I don't know how to pronounce that name, man. But that was a nice heads up play in coverage there. Second and goal. As a man on the slant, it's K1 Malone, but he dropped it. Oh man. Should have been positive yardage about at least a three if not more a throw to the end zone caught by Joe Craig he's got nine yards and that's a touchdown Karen with two touchdowns and no interceptions and this is easily his best game of the year easily that drive took two minutes 22 seconds and now it's a 21-10 Memphis lead. We got 3.38 to go third quarter. Orangey's kick is going to be probably taken for a knee. And that's exactly what Scott will do. They'll take it out to the 25. And this UAB offense has been able to get their own rhythm going, although they've only got 10 points to show for it. And they've been able to move on this normally pretty stout Memphis defense. We'll see if Coach Yaka made any halftime adjustments. And Brown will have to throw it away on first and ten. No one open and the ends were starting to be able to close in on him. So he just threw it away. Second and ten now. Brown wants to pass. Feeling the pressure, stand in the pocket, throws underneath, that's incomplete. He did have a man coming back for the ball, and it would have been it would have been positive yardage, but I think he would have been about three yards shy of the first anyway. UAB three for three on third downs. Here's their second, third and ten. Brown will throw it up, knocked away by Anthony Watson. Probably should have been intercepted. But they'll take the three and out. Should be pretty good field position here for Memphis. And they're already up two scores. The point will be taken by Harris out of his own 40. A return to just shy midfield. 11-yard return there by Carl Harris. And they will mark him down at the 49. So yard shy midfield, great field position for Memphis. And this is a huge possession for both teams. Memphis could really take control of this game. So UAB needs to make a stop. And on first down, Hayes will fall forward for a three yard rush there. Second down, they got it at the 48 of the Blazers. Looking like they'll be bringing a blitz. And they do, but Karen can't get it over the defender's head. So now it's third and seven. Three for five on third downs is this Memphis offense. Got away. They give the haze on the screen and nothing doing. The defender out and beat, but he flipped over and was able to make a nice tackle. Fourth and ten from the 49. But this this isn't punting territory. Are you kidding? Just got to find the play. Fourth and ten. Memphis is going for it. If they punt, it's only about 
20 yards of field position you're saving. So they're just going to go for it. Knocked away. A little bit more, and he had K1 Malone had beat his man. And it's a big play for Memphis. They're going to get Watkins for roughing the passer again, though. So that'll be a first down, and it'll keep the drive going. And Karim got bailed out because he had a man just needed to get it to him. And he made a poor decision there on the read option. Should have taken it himself. Instead, he gives it to Hayes, and Hayes is blown up in the backfield. Second and 13 from the 39. Under two minutes to go here, third quarter. Tries to throw on this. Adam, I don't know what he was doing. He threw into cut double coverage, though, so it'll be third down and 13. Three for six on third downs. And again, I feel like this is probably four down territory. Because now you get even less of a positive yardage. Or less of field position flip. He's looking at six yards on third and 13, but he's still seven shy of the first. And Coach Yakov does indeed say go for it. Two for two on fourth downs. Here's a fourth and seven. It's drawn the slant that's knocked away, but I think he got to him early. Actually, it's not going to be pass interference. It'll be roughing the passer again. Patrick Bastina's had like four costly penalties. And now it'll be first down from the 18. So three fourth downs, three roughing the passer penalties. And all three of them could have easily been completed had Karen made a better throw. On first down, Tevin Jones will get five. It'll be second down, five to go from the 12 of UAB. Coming up on a minute to go here, third quarter. Actually, under a minute, sorry. They give to Hayes, and Hayes, he's got seven yards. It'll be first and goal. They've got it at the six. And here we go. Memphis first and goal. They're knocking on the door. Looking to go up by 18. They give to Hayes. And Hayes is flung down after a one yard rush. He's got six carries. 57 yards. Not, not six. 16. Sorry. Second and goal from the four. Coming up on 20 seconds to go third quarter. They give to Jay Steve, and he's got three yards. The backup halfback coming in now. And we have played our final down of the third quarter. Three quarters gone here in Birmingham. Memphis with an 11-point lead over their rival UAB. Still don't get how it's a rivalry game, but whatever. And Memphis is one quarter away from bowl eligibility in year one under Yakov Kolenkov. Can they get bowl eligibility? We'll see. Third and goal from about the two. They'll give to Hayes, and Hayes is into the end zone. Now it's 27-10, and I think that might about ice this game. I don't know. We'll see. There's still 5 minutes, 59 seconds left, but 18 points is a lot. It's, it's a three-score game now. As you can see, 203 yards of offense for Memphis, only 147 for UAB. And they've had none in this second half. They only had one possession, and that was a three and out. So this defense forced a three and out on their last drive. We'll see if they can do it again. And kudos to the Memphis offense for being able to 
really t control the time of possession here, in, especially in the second half. And false start there on first down. They'll set it up first and 15 from the 20. UAB down 28-10. And unless they can do something about it in a hurry, I think Memphis is going to get win number six. Brown gets sacked. He lost three yards. Johnny Farms, a freshman D tackle, coming up to make a play. And Farms has had his... Flashes of brilliance throughout his freshman year, actually. The future is certainly bright for that defensive tackle. Brown going to throw it up. Knocked away by Bobby McCain. Actually, I think they're going to give Ballantyne credit for the deflection. Third down and 18. Three for four on third downs is UAB. They got a third and very long here. Brown feeling the pressure, though, throw underneath, caught by Scott. Bobby McCain, a great open field tackle, though. Devontae Scott gets 14 yards, but he's three shy of the first. And no doubt about it, this is four down territory. You're down by 18, don't have any time to punt. You need this or else it is game over. Brown will throw, has a man open, it's Nelson. And Jamarcus Nelson with 24 yards down to the 44 of Memphis. So after a three and out, UAB is right back to where they ended off the first half. First down, Brown wants to pass, throws out of bounds, incomplete. There has only been one turnover in this game, and it was an interception in the red zone by UAB. It was 7-7, seven to seven and UAB was on the move looking to take the lead, and the interception happens, and Memphis has really never looked back. Think about it. We could be in a much different ball game right now if that interception doesn't happen. As it is, it's an 18-point Memphis lead, but UAB's on the move again, looking to attempt a mini comeback. And Brown just lost eight yards. That's not going to help. Terry Redden, the first time we've called his name all day with the exception of a roughing the passer earlier in the game. He comes up big with an eight-yard sack on first down. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in this fourth quarter. Brown throws, has a man open, it's Smith. Smith broke away from McCain, but Ballantyne will finish him off. Nolan Smith, one catch, but that one was 29 yards. And they're in the red zone to the 13 of Memphis. So UAB not backing down. They're like, we're going to try and make a comeback. They give to Reeves. Charles Harris will take him down after a gain of one. Six tackles today for Charles Harris. Second and nine from the 11 yard line. Going up on three and a half to go. And honestly, I think even if UAB does get a touchdown, which they do right there, 11 yards and a touchdown for Reeves. But I think they took too much time off the clock, as with three minutes, 28 seconds to go, you're down by 12. And if you get the two-point conversion, you're down 10, which is still a two-score game. Brown wants to run for the two. He's got it. 28-18, Memphis on top. But there's only three minutes, 28 seconds left in the first half, or in the game. And they need an onside kick. Otherwise, Memphis can just about end it with a first down or two. Reggie Travis will recover the onside kick for Memphis. And so first down from the UAB 40. You got to think about working on running out this clock and making UAB burn your timeouts. Although if you get a touchdown, the game's over anyway. So Cam will run it on first down. He's got nine yards. Five carries, 10 yards, and a touchdown for Karam. So 
second down and one. As we'll be at probably about 2.45 to go with the snap of this football. UAB not bothering with timeouts yet. They'll give to Hayes, and Hayes has a first down. You only got two, but you only needed one, so... First down, and I think that will effectively end this game. First and ten. Under 2.30 to go in the game. They're going to give it to Hayes. Hayes has running room. He's got ten yards. It'll be second and inches. 19 rushes, 71 yards, and a touchdown for Hayes. And they will call their first time out now, will UAB. Second and inches. A first down here ends this ball game. They give to Hayes, and Hayes has the first down. He got the couple of inches he needed. Alright, first down, you can work on just getting into the end zone and ending this game, really. Hayes broke one tackle. He's got nine yards. UAB burns their final timeout. They've got it second and one from the eight-yard line. 2.10 still to go in this game, but I'm thinking Memphis won't be stopped. Hayes just lost two yards there. It'll be third and three. Hayes with 22 rushes, 79 yards, and a touchdown. So he won't get his 100 yards rushing, but he's not going to need to because Jacob Karam has had his best game as a Memphis Tiger so far. He's got two touchdowns. Best of all, no interceptions. They give to Hayes on first and goal. He's got two yards. Second and goal from the five. Alright, here you are. It is second and goal from the five. He's throw underneath, caught by Jesse Millison, but he's not going to be in the end zone yet. He got three yards. It'll be third and goal from the one. Karen with 143 yards and two scores through the air. He's also got a rushing touchdown. He'll throw to Hayes, and Hayes is going to be brought down for a four-yard loss. And go Chakov, they're going to go for it. They want the touchdown. A throw underneath, caught by Steve, but he dropped it. They had a third touchdown. But Jay Steve couldn't hang on to it. It's alright, there's only 12 seconds left. Memphis is going to get bowl eligibility. Devontae Scott getting nothing. Seven seconds left. Second and ten. Brown wants to pass. Throws caught by Reeves. There's a flag down. It'll be roughing the passer. 
So a first down from the 30. And basically one play. Two seconds left. We'll see how far they can throw it. But how about that? Year one with the head coach Yakov Kolenkov in charge. Are you kidding me? Rough in the passer again. This time it's on Johnny Farms, and now they got it at the 45. So another Hail Mary here. But it won't matter. Memphis is going to win their sixth ball game. They'll move to 6-1 and one on the year. And one year with head coach Jakob Kolenkov in charge as Anthony Watson picks off the Hail Mary. Well, one year with head coach Jakob Kolenkov at the helm. And Memphis is bowl eligible for the first time in a long time. Memphis wins 28-18. They improve to 6-1. and one. I believe they are 4-1 and one in conference. And I like the looks of them making their first bowl game in just one season under y Yakov Kolenkov. He certainly got the Tigers pointed in the right direction. Our final score, Memphis 28, UAB 18. That'll do it for me. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.